Hi, friends. Just giving you a warning, fam. I probably would have already uploaded my Pat McGrath year in review video, and now I'm uploading another commentary video about her Star Wars release. So forgive me for the Pat McGrath spamming. I've never done this type of video, but I thought fitting, especially since I am making a shift in the new year, speaking less about new makeup, or rather not buying as much new makeup. So going forward, my content might be like this, more so commentary versus me buying it and then reviewing it on my channel. It has been dropped today, Friday, December 9th, that Pat McGrath is releasing her second Star Wars collab. I think her first was 2018? 2019. I will confirm next to me when looking that up, but we have a preview on the side. And it is very hardy compared to her first release, where I think no, it was the lipsticks. Let me let me get the lipsticks. We had the three Star Wars lipsticks, specifically the lip fetish bombs. Yes, they're all bombs. Then we had the mothership palettes that house the six pans and of course the golden mothership four in decadence now we have midnight sun as the featured mothership for this star wars collab i was pleased to see especially since midnight sun is one of my most favorite Pat McGrath palettes of all time. The box is great because it has the full-fledged like vintage movie poster on there, but it also has, I guess it's like a screen. I don't know the technical name for it. That image is on the actual palette. Who knows how that would look like in real life, whether it will look cheap, whether it will look well done or what have you. I guess it's just a matter of time, but I will be skipping this because I already have a duplicate Midnight Sun from it being gifted to me by a lovely subscriber with the Selfridges collab. It had the gold lining around the palette, so I can't have another Midnight Sun. As much as I love that palette, that will be overdoing it. Next, we have three quints, and the quint format was introduced in her most recent holiday collection, Celestial Odyssey. I do prefer the quint format over the older six pan format. We have Galactic Gold, which features C3PO. I much prefer this compact design where you have just the flap versus the tri-fold flap, which is a total nightmare. And these are the shades in Galactic Gold. And of course, were introduced in Celestial, my apologies, I said Celestial Odyssey. No, this year's holiday collection is Celestial Nirvana and the Star Wars colors were brought back in Celestial Odyssey. There we go. Celestial this, Celestial that. And here we have Dark Galaxy with the Storm Trooper design on the front. So again, this is from Celestial Nirvana, but it will come in this five quint format and the Star Wars design will be here on the front. Same palette design with the magnetic closure. I do enjoy the bigger format just for the sake of the artwork. I think that is an advantage, but I understand from a practical standpoint, a space one at that, this is gonna take up a lot less space. Whereas look how much room you have here between the pans and around the pans and in the quint format, again, just more space efficient and I think less likely to crack because you could just pack it better. And the designs on the quints don't look too bad, right? I don't know, again, until we see these in person, how cheap it will look versus like cool because I was not a particular fan of the Bridgerton collab designs for those palettes, both for the blush and the eyeshadow palettes. It looked, as someone has said, very Too Faced, and I don't hold Too Faced in high regard when it comes to luxury packaging. But with Star Wars, a little more tricky, but at the same time easier because the artwork is just so iconic in terms of the characters themselves are so iconic. To just see them on there is enough. And I think especially if you are a huge Star Wars fan, that will be fine for you. In terms of the colors, you know, 
Divine Droid looks pretty cool. It got the lime in there, or the chartreuse, excuse me, with the light sky blue, the violet, the magenta, and the bronze. That might be the most interesting curation because here, is that Darth Vader? We got, yep, yeah, Sith seduction, makes sense. Something taupey looking, grayish looking, midnight uh, crimson and midnight blue. And they all look very shiny. And I feel this palette can be ideal for one and done shadow moments. The golden one, which appears to be the most low key out of the three more neutral rose leaning as mother loves to go the light pink that mauvey brown i'm just going based on the images which could be totally off if we see these in person but again i'm a huge fan of this formula i think it's not completely powder matte it's a lot softer and to have that shade in this texture i think beautiful so i might be a simp and buy this just for the formula is that c3po i feel like it is but the c3po illustration for a golden one is that c3p i think i that's what it looks like looks cool as well with the blue frame which is the same for r2d2 and darth vader what i'm most excited about is the chroma lux artistry pigment star wars edition i don't think mother has released pigment pots like this she did release those idol singles which were crazily expensive but before that she did have her artist kits which didn't do well because i don't think people fully grasped the concept pat was trying to introduce and that's why it was better received when she did her mothership eyeshadow palettes but to have these artistry pigments i am very curious as to how these will perform we have four total shades in all smuggler spice clever metallic rose with golden peach iridescence extra galactic gold metallic antique Ooh, it's the antique for me a must grab rogue rebellion metallic crimson with magenta undertones this is the one falcon noir metallic anthracite with blue undertones that is going to be the ultimate one and done new year's ipod I already could tell. Now here's where we get weaker with the packaging design, the Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Metallic Lipstick. The red chrome was already in the original packaging and there's just Star Wars slapped on the cap. This comes in three shades that are already existing, I believe, as well as the Lust Gloss Star Wars Edition. Again, same component with the Star Wars on the cap. That comes in three shades. I believe also already existing. Bronze Venus is an existing shade, is it not? I feel like it is. The Dark Star Mascara Wars, again, not only for the Dark Star, but for the colorful mascara components, same holographic design for the color mascaras, just with the Star Wars on there, as well as the gold a uh, component for the black mascara. Now this is where the original collab hit with the lipstick design. So this is the lip balm inspired by C3PO and you just have Star Wars here, but the entire component is gold. And then with R2D2, you have the blue and the white, which I think beautifully represents the character for the Stormtrooper one. You got red with the black. Yeah, that is ultra cool. Okay, I think beautiful. Here you have the astral bomb. So I think the lipstick designs from the first release are far superior from this year's. This year's, they just put the Star Wars on the liquid lust and the lust gloss components. Might be cool. You might want the box if you're like that type of a collector, but I don't think buying, especially if you already have those products, I skipped the new liquid lust formulas because I looked in my drawer and saw all the liquid lust that I have not been using. So that's what deterred me from getting those. And now I'm definitely not because I rather would just have the red chrome packaging without the Star Wars on the cap, to be honest. And with the Mothership, I think this released sometime after, well after the Star Wars collaboration as just the gold palette. And I think I have that one. I have so many decadences, it's kind of insane. But again, if you are a Star Wars fan, I mean, this collection sold out fast upsetting to a lot of people so who knows 
how this collection will be received, how these orders will be handled. What will I buy? I'm skipping Midnight Sun. As cool as that design is on the lid, and it might be collector status, well, it probably will. I don't know, okay, here's my thing. I've spent my money on Star Wars things, okay? I have two full-size Grogu dolls in the boxes still, okay? Those things are not cheap. So I understand, okay, being a fan of media like I am with the statues and the anime clothes and me buying the first Star Wars release, I get it. That part of me wants Midnight Sun because of the illustration on the lid, but the practical side is like, mm, but do you really? That's not the same as the Grogu doll in terms of value for me, because I can't resell Midnight Sun even if I don't touch it. I mean, eventually it's gonna degrade, right? But not my, not my Grogu dolls, those are, pristine condition. I might just do the four Chroma Lux pots and the three quints. Now, I had mentioned again in my November faves that I was gonna cut down on the spending except for Pat, Natasha, Denona, and maybe the Offset brand that releases something interesting. And it's not so much because of the palette designs, it's the colors, which Yes, you can definitely recreate. Looking at all these shades, these shades exist somewhere in our Mothership collection, especially if you have Celestial Nirvana. You have like the light blue in there that you can replicate a feel from Divine Droid, although there's not a chartreuse. I think the chartreuse limey color is found in Celestial the one that came out last year. I forgot what it's called. I just like the formula and I like the quint format. That's why I'm being a total simp about it. And I think that's it. That will be it for me. I mean, still a hefty purchase. Each palette is $36 each and the Chroma Lux pots are 32. The dilemma is, considering how often we know Pat McGrath loves to release sales, it, will this be available for the sale? I don't know. Knowing how quickly the first collab sold out, I don't think the hype is the same this time around. I feel people generally are a little more conservative. They're gonna wait it out. Maybe it will go on sale. If there's any leftover inventory, 100% sure it will be. I don't think it's gonna sell out. I'm thinking about now just getting the Chromalux pots and skipping on the quince, but we shall see. Let me know down below, do you want to see these quince in action as soon as they drop? Or do you think it's gonna be an easy pass considering that we have a lot of these colors already? I can hop into older Pat McGrath palettes just to see what dupes we can carve up because the golden one we got somewhere, right? Sith Seduction, that midnight blue. There's a blue like that in the Celestial Holiday palette from last year. That grayish, taupey looking color looks pretty. Hmm. I mean, in Divine Decadence, I think that is probably the standout difference because you know how I love Divine Mink, but the satin formula is not as sparkly as these. These have a lot more twinkle to them. In Bronze Bliss, you saw Lunar Luxury is out of this world sparkly. Nude Allure, not as much, still sparkly, still different from the more satiny formula found in Decadence Mothership 4. I'm back and forth. I'm back and forth. I don't quite know what I want to do, but you know, we'll discuss it down below. And this, I think, will be the final release for Pat McGrath. However, I still think my personal favorites from the year, definitely Moonlit Seduction and Celestial Nirvana. When I saw Celestial Nirvana for the first time in that matte green, I went crazy. When I saw this, I was like, oh, that's cool. I didn't have the same response. So this might be more exciting, again, to the Star Wars fan. I think the collection is nice. Again, I think 
there could have been more uh, creativity with the lipstick components, but maybe due to manufacturing uh, issues and just constraints given how m- m- there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And maybe Pat had more extravagant ideas, but she had limited choices in how these components would be designed with the Star Wars element, you know? So let me know down below what you think, what you're gonna do. I'll see you down in those comments, fam. And until then, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again with another review tutorial commentary video or monthly faves. Take care and I will see you again soon.